Hi, I'm John, and I'm going to talk about the different ways you can integrate Fulcrum with the rest of your technical stack. Software is continuing to trend towards a more modular approach. Whereas previously, you may have had one system that tried to handle everything, you're going to increasingly see solutions that specialize in doing a few things really well, rather than doing a lot of things mediocrely. We think of Fulcrum as the center of your business, running your core manufacturing operations. It's the base platform that your accounting, design, or other solutions can plug into. That's why it's so important that our product has been intentionally architected with modern technology. It's hosted in the secure cloud and integrates via APIs. I'm going to show a few other ways that Fulcrum connects with other systems. The most common way is through our standard integrations to other cloud-based systems. While there's only four shown here, if you jump over to the integrations page on our website, you can actually see a sampling of other systems that Fulcrum connects to. These all have varying degrees of configuration and setup involved, so you'll want to talk to your Fulcrum sales contact about pricing. Okay, let's jump into Fulcrum and get an idea of how some of this works with an example. One of the systems that we integrate with frequently is QuickBooks Online. In here, you can authenticate your QuickBooks account and set it up to however your, your accounting is set up in QuickBooks. The, the integration has a bunch of different options that allow the data to, to map to the right fields depending on how you have it set up. One of the places that we integrate with frequently is invoicing. So I'm gonna jump over to our invoicing grid here. And here's just a list of invoices in the system and we're gonna find something that's been shipped but hasn't been issued yet. And so here there's uh, a, a, an order that has been shipped, but without an invoice that has actually been issued to the customer. So we'll open up the invoice here, and in here there's there's details about the, the pricing for the parts and a little bit of information about the customer, but what we're interested in is actually what happens when you mark it issued. And so this will kick off a live integration that pushes the any invoice information and customer information to QuickBooks. And so if I jump over to our QuickBooks account here, um, this is the list of recent invoices, and if I refresh it, the Fulcrum invoice has showed up and uh, has been associated with whatever accounting codes you have set up in QuickBooks. Okay, switching gears a little bit here, we recognize there are parts of your software stack that are not cloud-based, uh, either they're on-premise software or just desktop applications. And for those types of systems, we try and offer easy import and export options. So as an example, I'm going to uh, actually import a bomb from a SolidWorks pack and go file. So in here, I can create a new import and I can drag in an export from SolidWorks. And this should just take the pack and go file, build out the entire bomb, uh, attach all of your system drawings, and when I actually click import, it will create that entire bomb and routing in Fulcrum. And in the opposite direction, if you need to get data out of Fulcrum, from pretty much any grid in our system, you can export the data. So for example, if I go over to our sales orders grid, there's an easy option to just export the data. Lastly, for anything more custom that you may want to build on your own, you can always use our public API. So I'm going to jump over to our API documentation here. It's worth noting this is also available for our ITAR compliant customers, and that was is hosted on the Azure GovCloud. But if I open up the API schema, you can see a list of all the ways that you can read and write data from Fulcrum. And you can use this to either connect any niche systems that we don't support out of the box, or just build any internal reports. This API is continuously being built out with new endpoints and functionality, and so the, the list you see here is really just a subset of what you can do with it. Okay, we've covered a lot of different options here. I hope this gives you a better idea of how Fulcrum can connect with the rest of your systems. For more information, please check out some of our other videos.